Okay, so this is the Bagramyan Avenue, and this is where the meeting is tonight. That's where we're headed. That's razor wire. Oh, Hunter. Okay. Hello. We're today. Hi. We're today with. With Lucine Badalian, yes, you're a TV show uh, personality, yeah. Both TV and radio show. Yes, yes, let me back up a little bit, okay. And I'd like to ask you, why? what is going on tonight here? Um, I can't understand exactly what is going on right now. Uh, why I can't understand, I will say, because I was waiting for much more people here. Because uh, people, um, people's um, how to say demand is uh, very right, is pure. Because we are fighting for our uh, rights, we are fighting for uh, against corruption, mm -hmm. against uh, what's happening in our country. Yeah. You know, that's why um, I was waiting uh, for many people here. Okay, there are much, but it's not enough. So, uh, what exactly, what exactly is going on with the situation at the uh, with the Sasna Tsaresh, or the Daredevils of Sasun? Are you aware? So it's the most complicating part uh, of the story because now we have no any information. We have no any information. We have no um, chance to pass to pass the street to to go to Kovore Nazi and to know what is happening there. Yeah. And um, it frustrates people. It really frustrates uh -huh. because uh, I can uh, explain um, what I feel. I feel they are not terrorists. They are uh, everybody, everybody's established that they're they're not terrorists. They're decorated veterans. Maybe it wasn't planned enough uh, 
uh, to reach their goals. Yes. Maybe they were um, naive. Yeah. Um, sorry for my English. It's not perfect. But it's I okay. Think it's Go, you're doing perfect. You're doing fine. What's going on? They are not tourists, and uh, I'm hurt every time when people call or not people, government call them terrorists. Uh, not only, also the media also calls them. Uh, terrorists because yeah do you agree that the media is government owned uh, mostly mostly and do you agree that uh, the reason why they uh, got rid of uh, the demonstrations and the protesters uh, from the Hore Nazi street is so they could you know close the information available yeah. about the daredevils of Sasun why there is no one there we have online uh, shootings uh, broadcasting uh, independent uh, medias i mean uh -huh. but now there is nothing we have no any information and we support that there is something bad going on there right now in Horenati. Um and there are just few men who are fighting for our rights and we are not staying for them have there been wounded or casualties do you know We heard that Pavlik Monikian and his son were wounded. Uh, we already, everybody already knows about that, and there has been rumors that Araik has yeah. also been wounded. Is that true? It's, not it's true. It's true. Yeah. Okay. He's shot. It. Uh, he have injuries in leg. Uh, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, and now maybe all of them have some. Does the Russian Alpha team that was summoned to Armenia have anything to do with the operation, with the takeover, retaking uh, of the police de uh, department that was taken? Do you have any? Are you aware of anything like that? You know, no, I'm not aware. But uh, I think I have just um, some. Uh, how to say? Can tell the truth. Assumptions? Yeah, maybe. Well, but I'm not aware really what's going on there. Um, but uh, something wrong is going on, so I, 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 I can stay at home. I have to be here with my people and with them. Would you say this is uh, all Yeah, would you say then we're, you know, we're all terrorists. So, you know, everybody that gathered here obviously is a terrorist. So, uh, would you say that, you know, this is some sort of an East and West confrontation, like between Russia and the West? Maybe, you know, maybe, but I'm sure that not everyone is here for this. Yeah. Not everyone is here for so this. We are here, be sure, we are here just for our rights. We want to live in our country, we want to see our country uh, in more, in better situation, you know, without corruption, without... Um, uh, People immigrating to yes, find the life that they... It's impossible to live here. Yeah. It's really impossible to live yeah. here. Thank you very much, Lucine. And uh, thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Thank you.
So we just witnessed somebody got set on fire. No one knows if he set himself on fire or some he was set on fire, but you know they have a police car over there taking uh, to I guess uh, uh, show some uh, help, first aid of some sort, and uh, the standoff goes on. There's the razor wire and the police behind it. All right, police behind it. of the guy that was set on fire he either set himself on fire or he was set on fire no one knows but it smells like diesel fuel here really bad Thank you.